Moving on to uh, to a uh, wait, hold on. Mm, mm, mm. Moving on to our first six thirty game, we have number ten USC traveling to South Bend and playing number twenty one Notre Dame. Notre Dame is a two point favorite in the game. Quinn, our resident rivalry expert, what's the name of this rivalry? Uh, this one is the battle for the jeweled shillelagh. It's been played for years. Uh, it's adorned with little like gold shamrocks that have little emerald jewels in the middle. And on the other side, it's like golden Trojan heads with little rubies at the tops of their like helmets up and down like a wooden shillelagh. Beautiful. Old, old trophy. Been playing for it for years. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm so glad we have you, Quinn. Um, Notre Dame is a, has a 61% chance to win, according to ESPN, which I think is pretty wild. Uh, Chase, who do you have winning this game? First, yeah, Quinn. The The knowledge that you have of the game is absurd um, because I did not even know the name of the rivalry. So hats off to you, brother. Um, so for this game, this is an awesome one. Right. You, Notre Dame just drops a huge game against Louisville, puts them out of the college football playoffs. Almost it's closed and shut at this point. USC not only has to get through the Pac-12, but has to get through Notre Dame. Um, and personally, Notre Dame has nothing to play for, nothing to lose. So they come into this game going basically where they can, excuse my French, but balls to the wall. And they can legitimately ruin USC's chance to get into the college football playoffs. And USC has an exceptional offense, so that's something we got to focus on. You just let Louisville drop 30 on you. So something's up with the defense over there. And Marcus Freeman, that was his bread and butter. He was, I believe he was a DC before he got promoted after Brian Kelly left. And so what is going on with the defense where you let Louisville drop 30 on you? You know, and so coming to this game, USC, of course, you know, got of got has got to win this game. I've got Notre Dame winning this game. I think Notre Dame at home, nothing to lose here, but everything to lose for USC. And looking at the way USC has played the last couple of weeks between Arizona, who we mentioned early on in our overreactions, and Colorado, USC's defense is going to be really hurt by Sam Hartman. I've got Notre Dame in this game. Quinn? Yeah, I really hate following Chase. Um, n- for me, Notre Dame loses the Louisville like they did. Because if you look at the situation they were in, you've got back-to-back road games. Say what you want about Duke and Louisville. For this season, those are good football teams. And so you have that tough competitive loss at home to Ohio State. Then you hold on and beat a, a scrappy competitive Duke team on the road, and then you got to go play another scrappy competitive team in Louisville on the road the next week. You just play back to back like Super Bowl level caliber games for your opponent. Atmospheres are as crazy as they can possibly be for Duke and Louisville. Like you're playing some tough competition there. Now they get to come home. A lot of what they feel for their season's possibilities are gashed. And you got a USC team that, frankly, like you can say, you can have your concerns about Notre Dame's defense. I'm more confident in it than I am USC's. Now, that being said, I'm more confident in USC's offense than Notre Dame's, but I've seen Notre Dame's offense go. I, and I, I don't think USC's stopping much of nothing. So I think this is going to kind of be a shootout here, regardless. I, I don't see how my take for this game could be any different than it was for Colorado and, and, uh, USC, where I said, you know, USC is going to edge out Colorado because they got better athletes, but Colorado is going to be able to score on them because their offense is good and they're going to keep it close. Notre Dame's going to be able to score on USC. I think Notre Dame's defense and their home field advantage gives them a slight edge. I think they're going to put a dent on USC's record. I think after this week, I think Oregon starts getting perceived as the top team of the back. And I've like, got them beating Washington, and I think USC is going to drop this game out out in South Bend. Dun dun. Yeah, I a hundred percent disagree with that take. Um, I haven't seen enough from Notre Dame's offense. I just simply have not. And you know, Sam Hartman coming in, I thought, and we actually did a video on this how Notre Dame finally has a very good quarterback that, that they've been after for a while. And I'm not taking anything away from Sam Harden. I mean, I think he's still a very good quarterback. But overall, their offense has not proven anything to me at all. And I do think their defense is a lot better uh, than Southern Cal's. I don't think you know anybody can deny that. 
But I have more faith in Southern Cal's offense than I do in Notre Dame's defense. Um, and I know that may not make a lot of sense. However, I think Southern Cal is going to score so many points that Notre Dame will not be able to keep up with them. Um, I think last year going uh, Notre Dame went to Southern Cal, another huge game. That was a very competitive game. But I think Notre Dame's defense was a lot better last year than it is this year. I don't know what happened, um, but I just think that Southern Cal is good enough to win this game in South Bend. Um, I know it's a night game at 6.30. Time difference is going to be insane for Southern Cal to go all the way over there. Um, you know, that's what going through two time zones, three time zones. Um, so I don't think it's as bad as it was when Notre Dame came to, uh, California and played a night game there last year, but give me Southern Cal to win this game. Um, and I honestly, I'm confident enough to say convincingly, uh, by 14 or more points.